आई अंडरस्टैंड वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस कंसेप्ट भी पूरा एक अंडरस्टैंडिंग है ऑल दो आई एम वेरी मच वर्क ड्रीवन बिकॉज खुद का स्टार्टअप है कंपनी है द फर्स्ट बैरियर टू इवन एक्सेप्ट वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस वो जो है सब खड़ा हो जाता है इज दट इज इवन मेक सेंस ओके कि जब अभी इफ माई करंट अंडरस्टैंडिंग इफ आई एम थर्टी नाउ आई हैव द काइंड ऑफ एनर्जी विच इज रिक्वायर्ड टू पुट इन मतलब बहुत सारा काम में आई हैव जो आगे जाके नहीं रहेगी ओके तो थिंकिंग अबाउट वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस होता है कि विल आई बी इवन डूइंग डिस सर्विस टू माई सेल्फ राइट जो इतना सब एनर्जी में लेवरेज करके पुट करके कुछ उससे बना सकता वो नहीं बन पाएगा तो कहीं ना कहीं वो आता है कि अगर इफ आई गो इन टू दिस पार्ट तो गिल्ड भी आएगा क्या अरे हाँ एंड दैट इज वेन वन वर्ड यू सेट ड्यूरिंग द स्टार्ट ऑफ दिस कन्वर्सेशन इज इंस्टेड ऑफ डूइंग डिस सर्विस टू वर्क यू कैन डू डीपली सर्विस टू वर्क इज इट इवन पॉसिबल आई थिंक दैट्स माई की क्वेश्चन अगर वो है क्लैरिटी देन इवन अप्रोच इन एन एक्सेप्टिंग वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस बिकम्स इजियर अदरवाइज इट इज लाइक ओके वर्क लाइफ बैलेंस आप भी सोचा तो इज डिस सर्विस टू द सेल्फ Correct, correct. So uh, actually, there are two answers I want to give you. I have thoroughly understood what you have uh, mentioned. The first, uh, first answer is the first part of your question. I would like to answer that uh, you know it's like uh, the big barrier that you know at the age of thirty you almost feel that uh, at this age I have whatever another twenty odd years wherein I can put in the best and create a golden future. You know. Uh, so uh, and then if i don't do that then that almost looks like a mistake you know which i can align with to some extent okay i i am telling you to some extent why uh, because i am wired a little differently so i'll tell you how i am wired and if you find value in it then you should also choose to be wired that way okay the first question that i always ask myself is am i given this life in order to make uh, in order to create success in this world or am i given this life in order to make a success of my life okay i'll repeat and i'll try to rephrase it has god given me this life in order to create some success for myself and the world also perhaps or has god given me this life because he considers me eligible to thoroughly enjoy this life and make a success of this life only you know this is a very fundamental question each of us should ask ourselves okay every time i ask myself this question what it the answer that comes to me is see if god wanted me to uh, be necessarily successful first all all three are important okay success of my life my success in the world and the success of the world all three are important okay but the order in which how god would perhaps be wanting it if god wanted to just create success in the world he could have himself created without my help right so success in the world god god can manifest any miracle you know god can god has always been manifesting lots of miracles all across he has given us life he takes away life he can do anything or existence or universe whatever word you like okay so that is ruled out because if god wanted only that he would have done it by himself you know second does god want me to be successful in in the outer sense so yes why not just for the sake of success because if that was the case then that would be the only impulse in me but i have so many impulses i have the impulse of enjoyment i have the impulse of serving others you know i have the uh, impulse of going on holidays i have the impulse of uh, uh, you know doing something for my body i have the impulse of uh, spending time uh, with all types of people you know i have uh, uh, the impulse of wanting to make wonderful love i have so many impulses why has god given me all these impulses if if god didn't want me to explore all these impulses you know so then the answer i get that the impulse to succeed in terms of the outer success is only one of the impulses out of these 10 impulses which are there let us say you know 
can i make can i make the mistake of making that one even as big as five in my life no i've got to keep it at one you know so this is to answer your first question that the way i think is that at the age of 30 i myself also thought the same question you know until 30 even i was as busy as you you know in terms of expanding our factory and this and that so the answer that i got was no all these impulses need to be satisfied you know so now from my 30 or more than 30 to almost 31 and a half so i almost i just started thinking that oh my god would i waste my next 20 years if i am only working would i waste my next 20 years if i am if my main focus is uh, becoming a highly successful entrepreneur you know so that so th that is what i invite you to consider you know that what is wastage you know what is this wastage what should we be afraid of wasting life in jainism we say i am a jain in jainism we say after 84 lakh lifetimes you got the human birth is this human birth meant so that we become money minting machines you know or uh, or we just say that this is uh, for some glory you know so the question i invite you to consider is on a daily basis i was telling a friend of mine that uh, if you know if in a week i am not seen a couple of movies it feels like a wasted life and my friend was not able to relate you know and then i told him why and then he related yes obviously you are right you know so because he was deeply workaholic but he said i now that you mention it i understand this is how we should be thinking you know or my god i am wasting every minute is important i am i have been sent here to enjoy myself you know and then uh, some people whenever i mention this some people say that my enjoyment lies in work you know so i also used to get confused when people would tell this so then i investigated and one day i found my answer okay the answer is this if if somebody tells you that uh, you know if some some day you you're taking a shower and uh, you know you you find a lump in your chest okay and unfortunately god forbid may this never happen to anybody but you find that and maybe it's a tumor or something and your doctor tells you you got 6 months to live you know tell me one person who will tell that in 6 months i want to go to office nobody will go for office even for half a day or i can tell you you know or not at least want to go he may have to go for a week to settle things but nobody would want to go then is that person really enjoying his work friend so much no M money is a resource an important resource for helping us with our pleasures but we shouldn't forget and we shouldn't make the resource the goal you know that is the whole mistake we make you know somebody pointed a finger to the moon and we fell in love with the finger we should fall in love with the moon so that is my invitation to you that the first part of your question that rewire you know oh my goodness if i don't watch two movies this week i am failing in life you know if i don't spend uh, two uh, you know two quality hours with my wife i am i'm just wasting my life you know uh, if i am uh, not reading uh, one book a week i am definitely wasting my life you know that that is the guilt that we want that type of guilt that's a healthier guilt to have you know from that healthier guilt a better life will open up so this is what i invite you to uh, look at uh, pankaj you know just rewire that one yeah right and then there was this right. second part to your question uh, which was about is it possible okay i have done it okay i have done it i have manifested it in a uh, in a very unique way i can tell you okay i have manifest uh, i am an extremely uh, good uh, uh, delegator i'll tell you okay so i am such a good delegator that i i i just uh, i nurture a project but then i i know when it is that uh, others can do more justice through the project than me you know and that that's how i remain in the project in financially but also at the same time uh, 
uh, did you did you look at the case study of uh, thyrocare owner you know that south indian i forget his name uh, he, he what's his name very nice guy very spontaneous guy uh, he he built thyrocare and he realized that he is now 55 plus or something and these youngsters are better they will nurture the company better you know so he kept a stake in the company and he exited this is master delegation you absolutely quit the play thing but you have a stake you know and how much do we eventually need in terms of money you know so even a small stake is more than enough for two three generations you know so this is this is what i call a wise life you know between charlie munger and warren buffet warren velu money right uh, nihar mentioned so between charlie munger and warren warren buffet is externally so much successful charlie munger is uh, is far more intelligent than warren buffet he settled for a smaller stake because he wanted a better life you know but even that smaller stake makes for enough money because you have put in the grunt work initially and then instead of remaining addicted you know so in all my ventures i ensure that whether it is my father or my uncle or my staff or my partner or whatever everybody feels like a leader and nurtures the project like a leader and in many ways they are better than me you know so if you the moment you do that then your own effort is going to pay you monetary dividends and at the same time you kind of downshifting in terms of work gives you life dividends so and for entrepreneurs and intelligent entrepreneurs this is definitely possible just that you should know that this is the thing to do you know if you become just like that every other like i look at the shark tank judges now wo to paisa banaya uske baad abhi bhi 50 jagah invest karna hai aur paisa hi banana hai paise are acha hai aap mein wo skill hai i honor you for that but if your entire life is only about that you know so after you made your money now you in order to help somebody you are an angel investor it is another thing but if you just want to keep making money and then you get addicted to the process of success then just like what happened to steve jobs and his deathbed he said i have lived a bad life he admitted that oh, who which better example you want you know yes aparigraha as pius ji calls it right in uh, uh, hindu philosophy and jain philosophy it's called aparigraha and in our case we are gruhastha yogis so our aparigraha is not as uh, detached as theirs uh, we should be financially free and then aparigraha that is my model you know be financially free and then aparigraha uske baad uh, one does not need ki meri bachchi ko main 75000 ka course maths ke liye 30 sessions ka best professor of mumbai ke paas hi karunga to to fir main kabhi wo aparigraha mein ja hi nahi pa you know so wo that level of financial freedom any intelligent entrepreneur will easily create by the age of 40 you know and any executive will also easily create by the age of 50 you know so the former was for pius ji latter is for yash you know perhaps even abdul ji i don't know so that that you should just be extremely convinced about what what is life about you know what is life about what is life about ask yourself again and again what is life about